Um, thanks y'all for being here. Uh, I thought we kicked off this homestand with a good win. Um, you know, Cal Poly runs a lot of good stuff. We wanted to be disruptive of them. I thought, um, you know, we didn't have the best third quarter, but we really responded in the fourth. And overall, we did what we needed to do, and we're continuing to get better. And every game situation allows us to do that. So um, I thought this was a good one. Questions? Juju, um, yeah. you just scored your fourth 30-point game of the season, which is most in USC history. So congratulations, first Thank of all. I'm wondering, what has made the transition from high school to college so seamless um, in only nine games? Well, I wouldn't say it's been that seamless. I think it's uh, due to like all the hard work in the gym this past summer and stuff like that. I, I had to make a lot of adjustments approaching this season. And um, still, I still am adjusting. But I mean, it's a testament to how hard my teammate pushed me, how hard coaches put, coach pushes me. And it's a product of this, I guess. Coach, you guys seem to kind of tower over Cal Poly at times. How important was that height and length difference to setting like a strong defensive tone early? Yeah, we, um, I mean, we know it's a luxury to have, you know, Rhea and then C coming off the bench with height. And then we're big, like, we're, you know, Jude's really big at the wing and Kenzie. So we can play a lot of length. We just want to be disruptive. So our, I think our height and our size allows us to be disruptive. But I thought our smalls got in people too, you know, Malia and KP and K Will. Um, so I think the, the, we're still learning each other, but the more that we can, um, do to be disruptive to the team gets us some easy looks in transition. Uh, did you know about um, that collision there in the third? <laughs> did, you, did, you look, did you just take it in the nose there? Or? Yeah, uh, sorry to the girl that I hit. I was, I was out of control on that one. Um, yeah, just a just a little collision. Nothing nothing much to that. But I mean, you had to leave and get your nose tended. Too. Yeah, just a bloody nose. That was pretty <laughs> bloody nose. Yeah, I'm still intact. <laughs> Uh, this is a question for all of you. Aaliyah scored her first points of the season, uh, knowing her story. What did that mean for you guys? The bench was obviously very excited, and Coach for you, obviously very excited. What did that mean to just, you know, knowing her story, see her score her first points of the season? Uh, I mean, that's everything to us. Um, that's our teammate. That's our sister. Um, and we know how much it means to her, so therefore it means that much to us. And I think, like, basketball has been, like, the most important thing to her. And we all know how hard she worked to get back and, and everything she's been through. So we're just super happy for her. I'm super proud of her. Yeah, love her. The bench was going crazy. We was all like, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she she got it. I mean, she's been working every day. Like, she inspires us to work hard. Like, me and Ken both know she goes hard every single <laughs> rep. Like, she does not take one day off. So, so to see her finally get that first bucket back um, is amazing. And I'm glad that we were there to witness it. So. Uh, Mackenzie, congrats on the 1,000 point milestone. Thank what you. does that uh, moment mean for you? It means a lot. I think uh, it kind of makes you like reflect back on your college career. Um, obviously, been at a couple different schools, um, and Coach G mentioned in the locker room like she witnessed my first basket, and then now here we are five years later. Um, so it means a lot to me, not just to accomplish that, but to do it with her um, and and at this school and, and with the teammates that I have. Um, so just super grateful. And to end that uh, third quarter, you had a terrific uh, buzzer beater. What was that? What was going through your mind, you know, final shot of the third quarter? Um, I mean, yeah, once I got the steal, I wasn't really sure that there was time left. So once I looked up and there was two left, I was just like, all right, I got to get it up and, and just threw it up there confidently. But we tried to put on a show for, for everyone. Else, so. <laughs> I'm glad that one went in. <laughs> so that... That, that third quarter, uh, you guys were within two points. Yeah. Uh, and that's the first time that you guys have uh, had a pretty close third quarter. Uh, how important is it for, uh, you know, this team to win that, you know, coming out of halftime and, you know, winning those third quarters? I mean, I just think in general we're challenging them to play to our standard. Like, the standard is what it is, and we keep raising the bar, so it doesn't matter if we're winning. Uh, we want to come out of a locker room and – um, and do what we know we're capable of doing. So we got on them a little bit. That, that, that the, And again, credit Cal Poly, they're going to keep playing and they're a good team and they're going to throw things at you. But we didn't feel like we were at our level. And, and I was really happy with how we responded in the fourth then because we don't want to have quarters where, you know, we're not as dominant as maybe we can be in that in that moment. And then the, the bench also had 25 yep. uh, in this game. Uh, there, there are some games when they don't contribute as much as other games. How important is that bench uh, to, you know, carrying on into later in the season when, you know, you guys are going into conference play pretty soon? Incredibly important. Like, I do think our depth is a strength of ours. Um, obviously, we opened the first five games with four teams, you know, that are, are postseason teams. And so, um, 
you know, maybe it's been inverted in some ways that people haven't gotten all the reps and opportunities, but we know that our depth is going to be critical. Uh, we know that, that we have different pieces who can do different things. And I was, I, I thought they gave great minutes tonight across the board. Um, and that allows us to play a different way. It allows us to rest some people, but allows us to keep coming at people, uh, at opponents in the way that we want to. Uh, Coach, you created 25 turnovers tonight, 31 points off those turnovers. What does that speak to this team, not just in offensive uh, side that you guys can do, but also provide on the defensive side? I think it's huge. I think we, we, that was the game plan. We wanted to be disruptive. We wanted to share the ball. So we had 21 assists on 30 baskets, and we forced um, 25 turnovers. And there's a lot of ways you can be disruptive. I and mean, sometimes we full court press, but sometimes we just picked up and pressured. And it's, it's I think we have a team that's very coachable. They really um, try to embrace the scout. Um, and so that was something we wanted to do, and the fact that we did it, I think, is, is a, a, good, a good thing. Uh, Kayla Williams saw her first minutes of the season tonight, started 31 games for you a season ago. Did you yep. like what you saw from her tonight? For sure. Um, you know, she, her ability to pressure the ball, pick up the ball for, full court, she's really good feet. You know, she's really uh, can, can slide and move and make and, and be very disruptive. I thought she came in and changed the tempo, and I thought she made some really good decisions on the offensive um, the offensive end um, and got us, you know, she had assist, but just really, I think, um, showed good rhythm and she had a good week of practice. One more. Uh, Taylor Bigby made her second consecutive start. Um, you know, she, she hadn't started all this the whole season. What, what does that mean to her and what have you seen so far from the first year in the program? Well, what I think what's really good about our team is that I don't think people really care so much about anything other than winning, you know, so we talk about Kenzie scoring a thousand points, you know, all of our Ivy players were like the best player on their team. And now we're coming here saying, what do I need to do to win? Right? So similarly, similarly, I think Taylor's willing to do whatever, you know, we need her to do. And with Caitlin Davis out, um, it shifted Kenzie a little bit to, uh, I would call our four, we can play four guards and puts Taylor in. It's been really seamless because um, because Taylor's really good and she fulfills whatever role is needed. Um, I think she's improved even incredibly in the last two weeks, just feeling confident, feeling in the flow, but she's a weapon for us. She can shoot it, um, she can defend multiple positions. Um, we're really comfortable with her in the lineup, and I think that while we want everyone to be healthy, I think in the long run, uh, getting some different people different minutes uh, will, will help us down the road. Sorry, Annenberg in the back, do you have anything? You don't? Oh, sorry. That's right, I didn't, I didn't realize I had anything. Can I ask a question? Yeah. How are you guys doing with finals for the team? <laughs> with finals? finals? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta ask them. <laughs> I had a presentation last night. I have a presentation like all the grads do, basically every like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, except for tonight when we class. But um, so yeah, we're in the trenches, but we're, we're gonna be all right. We're I was in the right. training room last night and Kenzie was asking some questions, and then I realized the presentation was in like two hours. I was like, how did it go today? Like, it went well. Yeah. It went well. Yeah. One down. And Juju, how about you? I'm doing well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, two, two finals coming up. Um, so I'm studying for those while also making sure I'm working hard on the court. Yeah.